The Lake Worth Lagoon is dotted with mangroves and seagrass. In the last five years, we've put approximately 26 million towards restoration projects and have created about 70 acres of new habitat. And so as we go back to monitor those projects, we have seen some impacts from all the freshwater discharges, which have been rather large this year. They're starting to see changes in the lagoon from the discharges from the canals. Although they're not seeing the toxic algae that the Treasure Coast has, there are still problems. As a result of the freshwater discharges we've seen recently, there's a lot more of that dirt and you know suspended sediments that are getting in the water column, and it's actually um, smothering the oysters. And all that muck has smothered the once vast beds of seagrass. This year, um, just the preliminary data that we have, we are showing probably the the least amount that we've seen in the 12 year program. The new mangroves have been dying thanks to a wood boring crustacean that has been thought to be brought on by the runoff. But all is not lost. In fact, these seedlings came from red mangroves that were planted in this project three years ago. Plus, these white mangrove seeds will fall into the water like this and create a new mangrove tree. With the groundwork set, there's now a better chance of nature taking hold. We're very optimistic that within um, a certain amount of time, three years, we'll start to see some natural regeneration of mangrove, seagrass, oysters. Once those come back, the wildlife will return, which is what the county is banking on. We have rehabilitated the system and created new habitat. So we have a motto, build it and they will come. And it's been working for us. James Whelan, News Channel 5.